All right. Boom. On my way to Canada. World Series of Fighting, 18. While I'm driving, rehabbing my arm. No way, my daughters were jealous. Uh -huh. Hey, check it in. And your last name? Uh, Rutten. Awesome. Just had dinner. Non alcoholic beer. Look who shows up there. Lee! 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 All right, preparing for the World Series of Fighting 18. Preparation. Later, I'm going to have to print it out downstairs at the business center. And of course, I have to prepare also for tomorrow inside MMA. So I'm going to fly tomorrow morning. Arrive then in LA, go straight to the studios, and then we shoot inside MMA. I always feel weird if I don't have my notes on it. What did you call that? It's like a security blanket. If you don't have your notes, you're flying naked. You're flying naked. And as much as people would love to see the great Bob Frusen naked, yeah, <laughs> maybe not on national TV. <laughs> no, maybe. Hey, boss. Thorpe, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. You're looking good. Feel? I, I'm always looking good. <laughs> maybe not. That's just yeah. This is tough. Is Wild lines. This is Ben, he's our stage manager. This is where I'm going to sit. Your audio. Oh, well, audio guy. I mix that up. Let me get some light. Oh, here, look at that. Oh, yeah. C'est moi. C'est Pedro. C'est tout deux. Tout deux. And that is Lucas Noonan. He's a photographer. Great pictures. Right here. So I guess I can start it now. Look at that. Yeah, look at it hanging. Like something about Mary. That's all I'm saying. And we welcome you north of the border, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, to be exact, as we welcome you inside the Edmonton Expo Center. Hello once again, everyone, alongside the former champ, Boss Root. Boom, boom. I am Todd Harris. Welcome to another edition of World Series of Fighting, Future Chance Boss. We've talked about it before. This is the big showcase for the up-and-coming fighters. That's it. These guys want to be on the main card. Everybody wants to be on the main card because that means more money. People want to see you. So they're going to fight their hearts out. He's a sissy. Look, he's got a big coat. So afraid of the cold. It's too cold. Out there. Can't throw a mean I'm elbow. Just Phoenix. Derry. How's it going? It's the mean. What's up? Put the hand high so they can see we shake hands. <laughs> the gang. The gang is walking there. Boss, what up, brother? Man, How are you guys man. doing? <laughs> The ring girls, look, number one. Yeah, we got a ring girl. Michel Jean Pierre, Comment de Lebo. Hello. Hello, other ring girl. Hi. Make a little video. How That's are you? Good, good. Some the fans are behind it. They picked the right spot. You see, behind the ring girls. You guys are smart, very you smart. Man. Thanks, sir. Say that one more time. Oh, you the man. <laughs> it's a restroom break. We're trying to do a restroom break right now. This is how we escape. There we go. You slip in here. This is where the guys are warming up. Oh, here's the restroom for me. What's up? Yeah. It's gonna be a good fight. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, Wayo. Wayo. Mato. Look who we got here. <laughs> Mr. Ford. Mr. Ford. I saw you with the belt. That's what I saw. So you were holding it. Yeah, yeah. You're on TV. And there's the little champ. Say, what's up? <laughs> that is a little prodigy from that. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> He's the backup plan. Yeah. <laughs> what can you say, 
Boss Rutten. Always good to come to Edmonton, and we were entertained with some fantastic fighting throughout the night. The main card, Marlon Marais, the young man went five rounds, but in the end, he gets to, gets to keep the belt. Gets a bit, yeah, and, I, and I, I, it's really cool to see him be tested one time. You know, to, to really have to go through that first round. He was really good connections, big bumps, but he just took it up and then just turned it around. Okay, there's like, like 15 minutes with the fans. And then, look at this. That's what happens after 15 minutes. Place is empty. Another show done. Oh, Jess Kuro. Hey, look at him, look at him. It's about to go down. Look at this. That's how fighters leave the place. Here we go. Upstairs to get some pizza. Yes, there's left. Let me see what we got. Pato! Que paso, amigo? So what do you think of the fights, huh, Bob Rutten? Mm -hmm. You had a good time? Mm -hmm. It's the post-game meal that you like the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see you, boss. You skating home? Yeah, I go home. <laughs> Blades of glory. I think he's got a speed track. Speed skating. Right back in the hotel. To the first pull out my stolen goods. From production, so don't worry, I didn't go into a store. But this is for when I get hungry tonight. Oh, I got more. But wait, there's more, that's about it. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna eat. Okay, finally, my food arrives. That's the time. Well, for me, that's 6:21 for my body, for my feeling. Just made coffee. See, so that's the first thing I do when I wake up. Now, what am I watching early in the morning? Doug the bounty hunter. And that's how it looks right now outside here. And those are the cranes who I used to climb in when I was a kid. Yeah, I was crazy. Have to go home. We have to go home. Our pickup. The frozen tundra of Edmonton. Welcome to Los Angeles, the local time here is approximately 12.50. Uh, that's where I'm going to right now. Uh, look at that. Well, treatment. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Yeah, open job. We're on the set of Inside MMA. And this is how it looks for us. Camera there. Camera right there. Camera right there. And this is the view. Oh. On the side of Australia. There we have the Staples Center. And here, those big blue letters. That's what I just showed you outside. Yeah, here we go. This is right. That's it. Yep. So, and then um, after they're done, we'll toss it out to Ron and Broomfield, which will be on tape. Mm -hmm. um, when we do that, uh, we'll do that after, just after six. Talk about Henderson and Thatch. Henderson and Thatch, exactly. And then he's going to talk about, we'll tee him up on Neil Magny, who uh, won five fights last year, which is tied for the record. Uh, Roger Huerta tied for five fights in, in one year. In 2007 or something. Yeah. Yep. So that's kind of... The pros have moved to 170. <laughs> like luck. Pitbull and Enrique Iglesias. Yes, they're here tonight at the Stable Center. We're going to eat something.
this restaurant is actually from uh, the cook here is Harrison Ford's son. Balls. Balls. And this is a case in MMA now. All the results happen after the fight. It's uh, only because I'm thinking, well, if it's for fight or safety, what if someone who's on test who's on steroids really beats a guy up? Then that fighter's safety w was not a concern because nobody knew about it till a week or two weeks after the fight, and the poor guy who maybe is trying to live clean just got hammered by the guy that's juiced up. Right. So I, I don't understand uh, where did the pre-fight testing help this athlete? Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. I mean, well, it doesn't make sense, and I think that's what makes sense about it all is it doesn't make any. Nobody understands the purpose. Well, in general, you do the, the, the pre-test, the test before the fight is to keep the guy out of the fight. Right. He's positive. Right. Hey, look, we're doing the show. We're doing the we're show. We're talking and we're doing the show. It's amazing. It's a crazy thing. That's the time. <laughs> 30 back. 36 back. We're done. We're going home now. Are you doing fine? Thank you, Rachel. No, this is an, uh, oh, okay. a little Facebook thing. Yeah. I'm gonna do. Look at how that's that's our Rachel. She does my makeup for 370 times already. I know. Yeah, a long time. Ticket number one. Zip. Oh, ticket number two. Zip. Oh. And here we go. On my way home, and that will be a, a two-day trip. Left Tuesday at 1.50, that's uh, almost 10, 10 to 2. And going home right now, uh, can't tell the clock there. Can't tell the clock right there. 10.51.